Now we're going to cover questions 42 through 46 of the UST Annual Inspection Checklist. This covers cathodic protection. One of the things that you need to verify is that any steel product piping or tank, any equipment that routinely contains fuel product that is in contact with soil is cathodically protected. You also need to verify that your system, whether galvanic anode or impressed current, is checked once every three years to make sure that it's working properly. If you use an impressed current system, you also want to make sure that the readings of your voltage and amperage have been logged once at least every 60 days. If you have an older tank, the cathodic protection was added and it was internally lined, you want to make sure that an internal inspection has been done within 10 years of that work being done and then once every five years thereafter. As far as the impressed current system goes, there's wires that they run out to your storage tanks. A lot of times what they'll do is they'll use saw cuts to place the wires in the ground to be able to run that for your system. You'll want to go out and make sure that those wires are not penetrating, not coming up out of the ground, cut, damaged, that everything is in proper condition. Basically what you'll see if you go out will be a wire sticking up out of one of those saw cuts. If you see any wires exposed, you want to make sure that those are in good operating condition. If you see any that are cut and damaged, you'll want to get your system tested.